I, I just kind of wanted to know what was going through your head when you faced those 23 shots in the second period. They were coming from everywhere. Yeah, they were coming from everywhere. I felt pretty tired after second, but uh, I think I recover, recovered really well. And, uh, you know, we played good at their period. All righty, Ron. Yeah, Pierre, obviously it's, it's very interesting for you, given that you haven't played in quite some time. Um, what was it like today just getting back out there, especially with an afternoon game, which is very out of the ordinary for you know, your traditional hockey schedule? I like those afternoon games. We don't have, you know, we don't have many of those, but uh, you know, it was, uh, it's been, it's been eight weeks that, since that uh, I play a game. So uh, I was very happy. I could, uh, I could uh, see the action and, uh, you know, see the puck and see, see the puck through the traffic and battle hard. So uh, it was positive. Andrew Rinaldi. Hey Peter, congratulations on a great game today. Um, been a while since you've been down here in the American Hockey League. What would you say would be the uh, the biggest difference between here and uh, and the NHL? Like pace of play, or uh, what? What's your thoughts on that? Well, it's always been uh, you know a lot of pucks to the net, uh, a lot of traffic. I was really surprised with that. Uh, I feel like uh, in the in NHL it's it's a little uh, it's a little less traffic than this. You know, here everybody put the puck on a D and then crash the net and try you know create rebound, create the chaos front of the net. Okay, Eric, and then Patrick. Uh, yeah, I just had a quick question about uh, kind of adjusting to the defense in front of you. Uh, obviously, quick turnaround. What's it like communicating with uh, those six guys in game uh, on such short notice and uh, being vocal from the net back there? It's, it wasn't that hard, uh, you know, everybody's professional here. So I think we adjusted uh, that pretty quick uh, and really well in there. Uh, you know, guys uh, call for the packs when they needed it. And uh, that was the key. Okay, Patrick and then uh, Andrew S. Uh, not having much familiarity with Grand Rapids, uh, uh, different shooters. Uh, how much of a challenge is that to come in and not knowing those guys? I, I haven't, uh, you know, I don't think I know one guy on the on the team. Yeah. So uh, it was uh, it was a little bit special because you don't you don't see it much often. Uh, you know, you you're kind of prepared if you if you know who is on a, on a one timer on or on a, on the other side. But uh, you know, it's just challenging. You have to uh, be big in there in, in that, and uh, you know, just challenge those shots uh, when you can. All righty, Andrew Schnitzer and then Ryan Henkel. Peter, can you kind of just take me through the process of how this came about? Kind of when did you find out that you were going to be playing for the Wolves today and that it was something that you felt comfortable with and that you and the Wolves and the Hurricanes all wanted to do? Uh, I, I talked with, uh, with our general manager and our goalie coach uh, probably on, uh, on Saturday. Uh, we had chat about, you know, how, how the hand is and uh, if, uh, if it's going to feel better in, uh, during the week that, uh, you know, I would come play on Thursday here and... Uh, I think uh, first two practices, like Monday or Tuesday or Wednesday, uh, first two practices that I felt uh, uh, very confident with it. And um, that was the key that, uh, you know, I could play today. Okay, Ryan Hinkle. Hey, Peter. You know, usually in a game, you don't want to see partial breakaway, two-on-one, five power play chances against. But do you think this was kind of the perfect storm for you getting that conditioning stain in? Yeah, I don't think uh, there's anything better than uh, than phase 45 uh, shots. So uh, that's a good uh, good conditioning uh, game. Another Ryan, or are you good? Oh, uh, yeah, I was just going to ask, Peter, it's just been, you said, eight weeks since you've uh, kind of gone into NHL action, and now the NHL has allowed fans back in the building. How much have you been missing kind of that energy that you usually feed off of so well at PNC Arena? Yeah, I miss I miss fans so much. Uh, you know, when uh, when I was traveling with the team in Columbus, they had some fans, and uh, in uh, in Carolina, we are allowed to have some fans. The games were way more fun. Were more, you know, we had more energy in, on the ice. And then, uh, you know, Tuesday we played uh, in uh, in Chicago here, and there was no fans, so you could you could see that the difference. All right, David Piper. I'm good, thanks. All right, anybody else? All righty, Peter. Yeah, thank have, you very much. For the, I'm sorry. Is there another one? Go ahead. Yeah, I just I would have one more. Uh, Peter Rod has kind of said a few times that you know you getting back in the lineup for the Hurricanes is a lot about your comfort and your feeling ready. 
How big of a step do you think today was in terms of that? Yeah, it's, uh, you know, playing the game and, uh, you know, know how it feels uh, around the net when a guy crushed the net. It, it's a huge, uh, it's a huge chance to try and, uh, you know, uh, it's been it's been a long road uh, to this point, and uh, I'm happy that I could uh, I could go and try it, see how it is, if it's you know if it feels ready or not. And, and Peter, I have one real quick. So you said there could be nothing better than facing 45 shots. I just want to clarify: you did not request of the guys that they <laughs> they have 45 shots put on you. I did not request that, but uh, you know what? It's been it's been fun. Uh, it's been fun game. I'm uh, I'm happy uh, I could face 45 shots. Uh, better than you know sit there and stand there and just wait for every five to ten minutes